Absolutely not. Frank joining us now to show us just what they're dealing with out there. Temperatures below freezing now. Wind still 15 to 25 miles an hour. That's what they're dealing with. What a day. Snow, sleet, cold rain out there, and very strong winds. Even reports of icicles. The exact track radar showing that moving through. And now that it has, if you look up, you'll see that half moon. Skies have cleared. That's what's going to allow these temperatures to crater. The hard freeze warning in effect now through 10 o'clock tomorrow morning for counties to the west and to the north. 22 to 25 and maybe even colder than that. The freeze warning for counties south, including Harris, 10 to 10 below 32. Certainly we can see some mid 20s as well. Right now it's 30 at the Med Center, 28 here in southwest Houston, 37 in Galveston. And look at the winds. You can drop those by 10 degrees as to way to the way it feels out there easily in the teens. Uh, elsewhere, Huntsville now to 24, 26 for Brenham and Conroe, 27 Katy, Columbus, Wharton, 29 down in Palacios, the island still at 37. Everywhere else is freezing or well below. So it is going to be a tough one. Protect people, pets, plants. Whenever you get below 24 degrees, that's when the pipes are threatened. So if you're north and west especially, watch out there. And I would run your pool. It's You do not want a frozen pool pipe. That is for sure. Overnight, upper teens to mid-20s. Saturday, we won't get out of freezing until at least noon. A high temperature of only 40. And then Saturday night and Sunday, possibly now even colder then than it's going to be tonight. We'll talk about that coming up where you are. We'll talk about the temperatures, just how cold for you. All of that is straight ahead. All right, Frank, thanks. Many of you have been braving the Arctic blast to send us photos and video of ice, sleet, even a little bit of snow. Jennifer Bauer joining us live now with how Houstonians are handling this wintry weather. Jen? You know, Dominique, in my opinion, standing out in the cold and pumping gas is just one of the worst things you can do. In fact, we're seeing a lot of people, they're putting the gas pump in their tank and then they're getting back in their car to warm up because they just don't want to stand out here in this freezing weather. But we did talk to some people tonight who say they actually enjoy this weather because they know it's not going to last very long. Some people say they enjoy weather this cold. For these three friends, it means an empty ice rink at Discovery Green. Still we're skating in uh, 20 degree weather here in Houston. I like it. It's actually not bad. It's really not. When you're moving around, you know, you stay warm. As the sun went down tonight, it got really cold. And working in these temps in the dark can be even worse. Anyone who's ever been to Little Papacitos on the corner of Kirby and Richmond recognizes this familiar face. He's out in the parking lot directing traffic year round in the heat and on nights like tonight. But he knows how to stay warm. It's called layers. If you know how to dress, it doesn't, you'll be okay. For some, staying warm isn't that easy. The Star of Hope Homeless Shelter is on cold weather alert tonight. Workers aren't turning anyone away. They're currently at capacity in both their men's and the women and family shelter. They're allowing people to sleep on the floor, and everyone gets a hot meal and a hot shower. Star of Hope is constantly asking for donations. On a night like tonight, we definitely need gently worn hats, scarves, coats, uh, gloves, anything like that. I like to say if it's gently worn, it'll be definitely worn on the streets within the next 24 hours. And Star of Hope is going to be on cold weather alert again tomorrow, which means they'll be opening their doors and not turning anyone away. We're live tonight. I'm Jennifer Bauer, KPRC Channel 2 News. And we appreciate what they do. Thank you, Jen. You can keep track of the temperatures in your area right now on clicktohouston.com. You can find hour by hour temps, the five day and 10 day forecast right there on the homepage, or you can find it in our weather section.